Hey guys, I'm Devin Lima, and welcome to April, or as, you know, Illinois likes to call it. I don't know what season it is. You don't know what season it is either, because you're just a cat. I love you. So this week I want to talk about something kind of spectacular, and that is Snapchat. Now I know what you're thinking. Devin, isn't Snapchat that one really annoying app? And you know what? You're right. It can be pretty grating and pretty annoying. I mean, not only are you forced to pretty much have to film portrait instead of landscape, which blows my mind that this app, it was built that way. I mean, I understand it's made to be built with phones and not necessarily any other platform, but like, there's a reason why, you know, Instagram started with a square. Oh, it's recording. Oh God. Oh God. I don't like this one. Nope. Nope. And there are stories which you can post to, and it's almost like daily vlogging, but it goes away after a day, which is kind of interesting, and it brings the audience back in, and that's really cool. And then you can even have these things that are seconds long, that are just moments that you send to your friends, and they exist for just that short period of time of when your friends watch them, and they're gone forever into the ether. Guys, my name is Ned. Uh, I have a big nose. You want to fight about it? I don't really understand why everyone keeps staring at me. I just don't really understand it. It's not I won't lie. I genuinely enjoy Snapchat. I remember getting it when it first launched. I'm pretty sure it was actually only then used as a sexting app. I cannot confirm nor deny this, but uh, I've heard things. I look like I belong in the fashion industry. There's. And if you're like me, one of the most interesting things about Snapchat is the fact that, well, it doesn't even keep its own metadata, which is basically a record of things that happen on it. So for instance, you can go onto Facebook, you can save technically the metadata if you want to bring it to someone, anything like that, if you have the right software, and it'll be totally encoded with what happened on that day, that time, who posted it from what IP and things like that. Snapchat does not allow you to do that. They are truly anonymous. I think this is just like a play on Grumpy Cat. It's weird. I don't like it. And also there were rumors not too long ago that Team Snapchat, you know, those people who send you really annoying snaps on holidays and big events and things like that, they could maybe log into your account. They could see every single snap that went through. It didn't disappear after that one time period. And if it was on your story, they could recover it after 24 hours. And from what everything that I've read, that's actually not true. I literally look like Robin from Batman and Robin after he cried because he had to strip for money because that movie never paid enough. That's oddly specific, isn't it? In fact, it's really hard to track anyone on Snapchat. I think that was the point of it when it first began, and now it's been adopted by a younger audience than I think what it was intended for, and it's kind of taken off. Hey. I literally look like the Cowardly Lion. Like, other people make them look like edgy and cool. I just look like freaking Wizard of Oz. Saturday Night Boys. Oh God, that's weird. Nope. But you know what I love? is the fact that you can just hold and press on your face and every day almost, there's a new mask to put on yourself. I don't, I don't see a difference here. That eyeliner is on point though. This is like my Haley Francis one. And some of these are comedic. Some of these things you guys might've seen on either my Instagram or on my Snapchat story. And some of them are just honestly kind of terrifying and they're always seasonal and thematic. And I think it's really interesting. This is one that has been on here for forever and I don't understand why. I think it like makes my eyes slightly bigger. I don't understand. It kind of like washes out stuff. I don't like it. I look like a Pokemon mixed with an eggplant. In the same way that social media brings together the entire world, such as you could be friends with someone on Facebook who lives in Los Angeles when you live in Chicago. Believe me, I am. I talk to those people regularly or people who live in New Jersey. I was texting one yesterday. Like, you know what I mean? It's really, it's kind of blowing my mind that we're all so connected. And even then, there are people on YouTube who live in completely different countries and people on Snapchat who live in completely different countries and you can connect with them in these ways that are just so interesting. And sometimes they're not the most serious, the most literal ways, but sometimes they're the ones that are the most important to those people in those moments in their lives. This is horrifying. And that's not even realistic. That butterfly literally disappeared. 
like right over here. So that's all I had to say about Snapchat. Uh, I know this is kind of like a ranty video. Honestly, this is why I'm intercutting everything. I'm sure by now editing Devin knows what's up. He's intercutting everything with the actual masks because it's a little too serious and I don't want to be too serious about it. I just think it's really interesting. And if you guys have an, any kind of opinion on social media, let me know in the comments down below. And again, follow me on across all social media platforms. You know, as much as I complained about Twitter and how people tweet last week, and honestly, most times I'm on Facebook, it's kind of cringeworthy. You know, it's, you gotta, how do I put it? Dance with the one that you came with. Because if you don't appreciate the Zangas, the live journals, the MySpaces, or even, you know, the bloggers and things like that, and blog spots and all these other ones, and oh my god, Angel Fire, Tripod, like, there's so many out there that have essentially cultivated this community of people who not only know how to design a website, they know how to communicate with other people over the internet, through email, through texting, and sometimes that's a beautiful thing that we, as in people who were born in my generation, which is probably like late 80s to early 90s and further on, got to see this culture develop. Cool, I'm glad that person got paid for that. Imagine if you were a little kid right now, as in you had the exact same mindset when you were you were a little kid in the 90s, the 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s, whatever. Imagine you were that little kid with that exact same mindset and you see some of the technology that is happening right now. I don't, do I have to like... Huh? Did you not shit your pants? And not even because you just have a diaper on. Hey, this is literally face swap live. If you guys wanna see this one, go watch my other video. Actually, I'm just going to Google something real quick. Hold Why did it recognize this fellow? What is happening? Like, it's amazing that I'm uploading this to a screen, essentially, into this weird thing that doesn't really exist, and someone around the world could watch it and be connected to it in some way, in some form. Just in the way that I typed it out 140 characters on some website, which, by the way, your little kid brain would be like, what the F is a website? Okay, now you're just messing with me because there's no way that's a face. Hey, Snapchat, I think this one's broken. And those 140 characters might even make someone laugh. And they might never even engage with the tweet. They might not even like it. They might not even retweet it. You don't even know the impression that you're making on someone. So with all that being said, please remember to social media responsibly, but at the same time, you know, have some fun. This is horrifying. I don't like the fact that I just face swap with myself. But this one worked. Oh, and now it's gone. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I put out new videos every single Saturday. And yeah, I hope that, you know, we all can talk about this stuff on our own social media platforms because it's genuinely interesting to me. And God, I mean, People are majoring in like digital media these days. That didn't exist 10 years ago. So that's pretty awesome. And I'm pretty excited for the future and I cannot wait to see what happens next. But until then, I hope that you guys will stick around and see my next video. Later.